Tesla just leaked the all new Model Y Juniper refresh in three big ways. We've got all the details on what is gonna change, we now know when it's coming, and also we know well, basically exactly what it's gonna look like too. This new Model Y is set to be Tesla's best-selling vehicle when it launches, and it'll bring with it some pretty huge upgrades that you need to know about. So let me just tell you what we know about Model Y, Juniper, uh, all the new details and leaks we just got, and basically how Tesla has already given us the full rundown of what this car is going to be months and months before it actually launches. Let me tell you all the Juniper refresh news you need to know right now, and also give a big thanks to Magback for sponsoring this video. So when Tesla debuted the Model 3 Highland back in the fall of 2023, it was a really big deal for several reasons. Several? Several? Can I speak? Several reasons. It was the biggest refresh the Model 3 had ever seen since it launched. It brought tons of new features and fixed many issues that vehicle had. And of course, it gives us basically a full on preview of what is coming next with the Model Y because the Model Y and Model 3 share so much of the same design DNA. Well, here you go, folks. This is Model Y Juniper. Basically, this confirms all the features you want are gonna be here, like the RGB ambient lighting, the cooled ventilated seats up in the front, a rear screen in the back, a much, much quieter cabin, a smoother ride with the better suspension, all those things and more will be coming to the Model Y Juniper when it launches. And I can tell you as someone who's gotten to drive one of these all new Model 3s, a couple of things immediately stood out to me. The cabin itself, like the interior, just feels way more premium, especially the base model. I drove a rear wheel drive version um, you get a heck of a car for the price and a lot of value here. Definitely feels way more premium. Also, the cabin noise and the ride comfort and quality were significantly improved over the 2022 Model 3 I've gotten and the other ones I've driven. Just Tesla continues to make changes every couple of months to make the Model 3 better and better. And this new Highland version is significantly better basically in every single way. And if that DNA is gonna come to the Model Y, which it basically is, uh, we're in for a treat when the Model Y Juniper launches because um, quieter cabin, smoother ride, just a better experience all around. I should also mention that if you want to get sort of a sneak peek as to what this could sort of be like and you want to sort of test Model Y Juniper before it launches, you can do Model 3 demo drives. They're now available in a bunch of different uh, service centers and Tesla uh, delivery centers around the country and really around the world basically now. They should be everywhere if you want to check that out. I've got a link down below where you can register. Also, I'm helping out a fellow viewer who wanted to get uh, some acceleration boost uh, credit points instead of spending the money. And I said, hey, send me your referral link and I'll shut down a video. So Matt, here you go. You guys are going to buy a Tesla or want to do a demo drive, use Matt's referral link down below. And to be honest, one of the reasons that the Juniper refresh is so exciting and one of the reasons I think I see so many of you guys comment on all my videos about why you're excited about Juniper is because the new Model Y for 2024 uh, is kind of boring in comparison. I actually just did a full video sort of detailing what we'd get with the 2024 Model Y now that it's here, all the new features. And I mean, it's classic Model Y. It's still a good car. It's a hatchback. It's comfortable. It's versatile. Uh, the pricing on on Model Y right now is really good, and I'll get into pricing a little bit more later on Juniper, uh, but suffice it to say, great car, but boring in comparison. And if you really want a lot of those creature comfort features, wait for Juniper because that's when they're gonna make their debut on Model Y. And it's not just the new design and the creature comforts that are gonna make Model Y Juniper exciting, but also a couple of other special features for the Model Y lineup that are gonna make it significantly better and more special, specialer than we've ever seen before. For example, one of the things I'm super excited about, I know many of you are as well, is the all new Model Y performance because Tesla is finally sort of doubling down on their performance models. They're gonna make them more premium and stand out uh, more than they ever have before. And um, based off of the leaks from the Model 3 performance, Model Y performance is gonna be like a mini Model X Plaid. In fact, we just got sort of some spy shots of the new Model 3 performance being tested in Santa Monica, and we got a really good shot of the new sport seats that are gonna be in the Model 3 performance and the Model Y performance. These seats are wider, they've got a new design with sort of a plaid uh, etching in there or maybe a ludicrous etching for the Model 3 and Model Y that basically are sportier, should be super comfortable, and be sort of a, a nice little perk of owning a performance Tesla. Of course, these will be coming to the Model Y performance along with some new sport wheels that are in the works, a new and improved carbon fiber spoiler, and some interior upgrades as well. Things like a um, higher quality premium dashboard material and some other stuff will be here only on the performance trims of Model 3 and of course, Model Y Juniper. 
Oh, and before I forget, if I haven't shown this already, let me just show you. Uh, this is what the Model Y Juniper refresh is going to look like. Uh, basically, it's taking a lot of cues from the Model 3 Highland, as you'd expect, and I'm going to bring those over to a bit of a larger form factor with Model Y. And on the inside, it's going to look like this. Again, I know I'm showing footage of Model 3 Highland, but again, Model 3 Highland, Model Y Juniper, basically the same car for 90% of um, things that matter. So interior is going to look like this, and um, yeah, it's going to be good. Okay, so just a little digging around on the Model 3 Highland page, you can basically see what's coming to Model Y Juniper. You see the uh, exterior redesign, you've got all the stuff on the interior, everything is basically gonna copy over to Model Y Juniper, which is great, but also the Model Y does have a couple of special features, like I mentioned a moment ago, that are only gonna be in the Model Y lineup. For example, one big rumor right now is that Tesla is preparing to launch their Quicksilver color beyond just the European and Chinese market and bringing it over to North America. There have been some spottings of it at Giga Texas recently. Again, I, they recently uh, introduced that color over in China and um, it's only a Model Y exclusive color, so it wouldn't be on the Model 3, but having like a special color for the Model Y would be super cool and I think Quicksilver looks great. So hopefully we see that come with the Juniper launch. Now, whether you decide to wait for the new Model Y Juniper or buy a Tesla right now, I can guarantee you that there are still two big issues with the Tesla you buy that you're gonna wanna fix on day one. The first is an easy way to mount and charge your phone and be able to sort of see it in your peripheral vision while you drive for Waze and Google Maps and stuff like that. And the other is a way to keep your precious fragile rims on your Tesla free from dreaded curb rash and accidents like this. Lucky for us Tesla owners, Magback has got us covered with both of these sort of issues here with two essential fixes and big Tesla upgrades. One is their beautiful MagSafe phone mount specifically made for the minimal interior of your Model 3 or Model Y. I've been using this thing for years now, having it on my Teslas, I absolutely love it. And I love it for a couple of simple reasons. One is that it's super easy to install, really nice long cable you can tuck away for a clean install. It's gonna harness the power of MagSafe magnets so you pop your phone on there, it's gonna both mount and charge as well. And it's just a really easy way to mount your phone in your Tesla and be able to use it for, like I said, Google Maps, Waze. Sometimes it's nice while I'm parked and supercharging to be on a FaceTime call and I have to hold my phone out. The built-in charger is fine in Teslas, but if you wanna have an app open like Google Maps, that's sort of more useful than your uh, built-in Tesla maps, well, going like this and looking down isn't good or safe. So this is much better, trust me. In addition to that, Magback's got their rim case accessory as well that you're going to definitely want to avoid the dreaded issues like this and this, like I mentioned earlier, not gonna say that's for me, but um, yeah, just take my advice, you're gonna want this. Rim case is basically like a case for your Tesla rim. Super easy to install, fully modular, and it's a great way not only to sort of protect your rims from any mishap that could happen, but also if you've got existing damage, a little pro tip here, this is a great way to cover it up as well and make your rims look perfect and brand new. And also with the different colors that Magback offers, it's a great way to sort of make your Tesla stand out and customize it a bit and also give your rims that much needed protection. Trust me, do this on day one or do it right now because uh, better to be safe than sorry. I am a huge fan of what Magback has to offer. They've got some amazing Tesla accessories, even some cool phone cases and some other stuff as well. So check out what they've got to offer. And if you use the coupon code Robert Rosenfeld 15 at checkout, you'll get 15% off your order. Again, that is Robert Rosenfeld 15. I know I've got a long name, so it's gonna be on screen and down below to save yourself 15% off your order. So again, learn more, check out Magback's amazing Tesla accessories, the link right down below in the description. Also, one of the big features of the Model Y is its hatchback over the Model 3, and I'm curious to see how Tesla's going to improve this. I think the Model 3 Highland uh, trunk opens and closes faster. There's like some new motors or something in there, don't quote me on that, but there's some improvements there, and I'm curious to see what Tesla will do to the hatchback on Model Y. Hopefully they make it faster, maybe they'll bring that GPS location uh, memory awareness for the height, like I believe it's on Model X, but it's not on Model Y. That'd be cool to see and hopefully they just sort of improve the experience uh, of uh, sort of uh, the hatchback and all the storage back there, hopefully some additional storage there on Model Y over Model 3. I'm also curious to see if Tesla could bring some improvements to the 7C configuration as well. The current 7C configuration inside of Model Y is pretty tight. That third row is a very small third row and with a little bit of extra length on the car like they've done with the Model 3, maybe that actually could give you a more usable third row. I'm not gonna make any promises here. We don't 
know exactly what Tesla's going to do, um, but having a little more length on the car could make a lot of sense just to make a three row Model Y a lot more practical than it is right now. So um, that's one of the things that's only on Model Y, not on Model 3. So curious to see how Tesla chooses to handle that and what they're going to change here with the Juniper refresh when it launches. Okay, but as exciting as all that is, I do have some bad news to share on Model Y Juniper, some warning signs, if you may, on some reasons why you might want to temper your expectations a bit. Um, I think the design stuff's all going to be there. I think the exterior design, interior features, they're going to be there. Um, but something that is going to change, not for the better, is going to be price. For example, right now, Tesla is uh, running some pretty insane Model Y pricing discounts. They're offering $1,000 off if you take delivery before the end of February. There's a uh, full self-driving transfer. There's unlimited supercharging transfer. There's additional discounts if you go uh, through a Cybertruck reservation you've got. There's just a lot of ways to save money on the Model Y. And while we don't know as of right now what may or may not happen with the federal tax credit, um, it is safe to say that Model Y pricing likely will go up when uh, the Juniper refresh launches. One of the big theories right now is that the reason that Tesla is sort of pumping these discounts on Model Y is they're trying to get rid of these cars and clear up their inventory for the Model Y Juniper refresh. And I'll say that that is a nice theory, though uh, Tesla themselves already said that there's no refresh coming this year, and I tend to believe them on this one, so I think that's more accurate. Uh, but I will say um, that it's pretty confident, I guess, for us to assume that these discounts will not stick around when the Model Y Juniper refresh launches. Is just look at the Model 3 Highland, for example. That car has already gotten a couple of different uh, price increases here in North America just over the last couple of weeks. So uh, pricing will likely go up with Model Y. If you want the best deal, that's going to be like right now. We're also learning that Tesla might begin to software lock down some features in their base Model Y. They've already reduced the sound system in that vehicle, uh, but they might also take away some features like front heated seats, rear heated seats, and uh, heated wiper blades, and lock those behind a paywall. And also some bad news for anyone in the United States or the North American area is that um, this will likely follow a launch like the Model 3 Highland, which is it'll come to other parts of the world first and then come to North America several months later. So there are some rumors right now that Tesla might launch this first in China within the latter part of this year and then do a more broad international launch early in 2025, which seems to make a lot of sense as of right now. I, you know, sometimes Tesla is known for telling the truth, not telling the truth. Some would call that lying um, about certain things. And while they have said that there is no refresh for North America this year, I do think that's true because it is aligned with what Reuters and Bloomberg have both said uh, that a wider refresh wouldn't happen, at least in North America, likely until 2025. So it seems like um, the timetable on this has shifted a bit to later next year. And if you are in other parts of the world, you might actually see a launch sooner than the States and everybody here in North America. But if you are in North America, just know that like Model 3, Tesla might launch this, you know, tomorrow on the other side of the world, but it's going to take months and months and months before it comes over here. So just sort of keep that in mind as you make your decision on whether to buy or not. Also, speaking of leaks, I also should mention that Tesla's actually leaked this model on several occasions. At least some believe that it's been leaked already. Um, some believe that this photo of it in transport is a Model Y Juniper, though I think that's pretty much been disproven, but some say it's legit, so I'll, I'll show it to you anyways. Uh, some also think this vehicle that is covered under a mysterious sort of tarp here is the Model Y Juniper refresh. This one does make a little bit more sense. And some even think this prototype that was uh, shot from a drone over in Europe could also be some sort of Model Y Juniper, maybe a Frankenstein Model Y being worked on. We don't know as of right now what these vehicles are, uh, but it is safe to say that Tesla is hard at work on the Juniper refresh now. And for those wondering why we haven't seen any significant leaks, it's for two reasons. One is that it's going to be sort of a while until we get this vehicle. So we're still a little ways away from sort of uh, any uh, road testing and stuff like that. And also Tesla's had a lot of time to sort of iron out a lot of kinks with the Model 3. So they might need a little less time to do as extensive testing as they did previously with Model Y. So Model Y Juniper will likely sort of start to hit the road in an incognito mode sometime later this year, but it's probably going to be the latter half of 2024 and probably not anytime sooner if you're curious. But of course, as soon as we see our leaked photo of it driving around, I'll of course let you know on video. All right, guys, I want to know your thoughts down below on the Model Y news and also do a bit of a giveaway. Let me give away some free Amazon money. Let's do like some $10 gift cards 
uh, to you guys in the comments. All you've got to do, let's make this simple this time. To enter to win, comment down below what your thoughts are on the Model Y Juniper Refresh, and then you got to give me like some sort of way for me to contact you. So if you want to put your email, put your email in there. If you want to do your uh, X handle or your Instagram handle, let me know so I can actually contact you directly because the Telegram spam has gotten out of hand. So probably better if you just give me a way to contact you and I will officially contact you from like a legitimate Robert Rosenfeld uh, account. If you want to email me, my email's in the description so you know it's legit. Please do that if you think it might be fake. But anyways, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on Model Y Juniper throw a social handle down there, like this video and subscribe, and uh, I'll do some Amazon gift card uh, giveaways for you guys to say thank you and um, just appreciate your support and appreciate you guys watching to the very end. If you watch to the very end as well, uh, let me know in the comments down below because I appreciate you guys as always. So thank you so much. Hope this video was helpful. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. I'm Robert Rosenfeld, and I'll see you all in the next one.